So guys, welcome back to another video and we'll be showing you three very easy straw tricks you can do with any straw you have around the house. So let's say first you're at a restaurant and your friend asks for a straw, but you don't have any. You just say, don't worry, I can pull one out of my hand just like this. You see, you've pulled out a straw out of the middle of nowhere. So tutorial of this trick. This trick is pretty easy. First you need a straw and then you need a pair of scissors or an exacto knife. I have an exacto knife right here. So first, uh, you know how a lot of straws have the wiggly parts that can adjust. First you want to cut that part off. I think this part would be easier with scissors, but I'm just going to do it with the exacto knife. Then you have a then you only have the straw part. Next you can take your scissor or exacto knife, then you can just slice, slice uh, a slit, try to make it as straight as you can down the, down the straw, just like this. So now you have a straw with a slit. For most angles, the slit is invisible, as you can see. If you get one of the straws with the lines, it's even harder to see. You see there's a slit in it. So now all you do have to do is to open the straw. Oh, I didn't cut it properly. All you have to do is to roll up the straw, cut a slit in it, and then roll it up just like this. Now after you roll up the straw, all you have to do is to do a very simple palm. Just palm in between your two fingers and then you can just rest your fingers normally. Here's a trick, when you're palming something, Try to mirror with the with your other hand, even though it doesn't have anything. Just mirror it, so it seems more natural. Then, all you have to do is to get the starting point and pull it out, just like this, just like that. And you can see a straw comes out of nowhere. A tip for this trick is that uh, the longer the straw you use, uh, the better the effect is. Uh, I got one of these Slurpee straws at some at some convenience stores or you can just go to like McDonald's or somewhere 7-Eleven has pretty good straws too just go somewhere get one of these longer straws and then trust me you get a much better reaction with these the next trick you're gonna get a uh, you're gonna get a straw and you can get a piece of string or you can use someone's headphones first you're gonna place the string through your straw just like this or it could be your buddy's headphone or something, which is pretty cool as well. And then you're gonna find this, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna fold the straw just like this, right? Then you get a, get, then you're gonna get a pair of scissors, and then you're gonna cut, let's just spread this out, you're gonna cut the straw and the scissors in half, just like that. And by this time, your buddy's probably like, oh my god, why did he cut my headphones? Well, don't worry, you can just say you're a magician and take the two pieces of straw, put them back together, and with the magic touch of your other straw, see, the string is restored. And the string can be full, and as you can see, the straw is not destroyed, and you can see the string is perfectly intact. So let's get into how this trick is done. So now, for this trick, you need um, a straw and preferably an exacto knife. I've tried doing it with scissors, but it's not really easy, except for the first part, of course. So you're gonna take the straw and, like last time, you're gonna cut the bending part out, the part where uh, the straw bends. Next, you're gonna fold it a little bit in the center and estimate the center. Of the straw. Next, you're gonna take your exacto knife and put a thin and put a slit like that. As you can see, the ends don't have the slit, but the in the middle there's a slit. Now you can kind of see where this is going. Now you just you could have the straw in your straw pile or something like that, and just take it out before the trick. Just put it in with a bunch of regular straws, and then. You're gonna, you can borrow your buddy's headphone, but in this case, I'm using a piece of string. Next, 
You just put the string through the straw like that. And don't worry about hiding the slit. It's not very obvious as you can see. Second of all, your buddy probably won't be uh, thinking there's a slit in the straw anyway. So what you have to do is to feed the string through the straw like this. And now you're going to fold the straw, but make sure the slit is facing that inwards not outwards you don't want to fold it this way you want to make sure the uh, slit is fold facing inwards next you're going to cover you're only going to leave the tip of the straw showing because when you're apparently you're just adjusting the string but in reality i can pull it out a bit you're pulling the string down like this so that's why you want to cover this part of the string just like that it looks completely normal from the front next what you have to do Get a pair of scissors, slice the straw, show that it's in two pieces. Make sure to cover this. You can put the pieces back together as long as you cover the string part. Put the two pieces back together, and now you can pull the string out completely intact. Just, and you can just throw these away so no one inspects them. Yeah.